Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Three Will Podcast. This is Danny Ryan speaking. I'm the um, uh, VP of Business Development and co-founder at Three Will, and I've got Bruce Harple here with me today. Bruce is our VP of Delivery. Thanks for joining me, Bruce. Yeah, absolutely, Danny. Good afternoon. Good to be here. Very cool. Uh, we are covering, um, in the podcast, seems to be the theme of people, process, and technology um, earlier today, I was talking with Tommy about process, and now I think we want to focus in on people. And um, boy, we hear it all the time. We've got the best people. <laughs> Our people are great, you know. It, and it's uh, you know, you, you just hear from everybody out there about how great their their people are. And I think what we want to do during this discussion is maybe try to characterize. Um, you know, to sort of peel the onion a little bit, maybe, and get down into more of what makes our people great or try to distinguish, you know, what's different about our people versus other folks. And this really gets into a little bit of our, our culture. It gets into really the team that we've put together and, and what's the difference in, in our team. So, um, can you just sort of get us kicked off here? I know you've, you've got, uh, uh, some certain areas you want to try to cover with this. Kick us off with that. Yeah, and let me just kind of provide some context too, because as I think about you know what we do and I think about our teams and, and how we deliver, you know, I think you know what we do can be very very complex. Yeah, you because know, what we're doing, you know, in in most cases is delivering a a custom collaborative solution to a customer, right? Mm-hmm. Trying to solve a business problem they have through a, through a unique solution. So every single customer is different. Their problem domain is different. You know, their personality is different. So there, there's a lot of moving, you know, variables that we have to manage. And and I'm just blown away, you know, every single time by, you know, our team's ability to consistently deliver, you know, what we committed to in a way of scope and in many cases more, you know, within the budget that we set out in the beginning and, you know, really close to the schedule we commit to. So we're, we're, our teams are just so driven to do that. When I, when I think about, you know, to your question, Danny, everybody says they have great people, you know, our people are the smartest people and, you know, you, anybody be remiss in not saying that. But you know, as I think about our teams and, and our people and, you know, why is that, you know, what is it really that, that makes it that way, makes our teams that way. And, so there's, there's four areas I want to kind of drill into. Yeah, you know, the, the Wait, first not three. You're supposed to have three. <laughs> Let's get this straight, Bruce. You need to go back and do some more editing on this list and bring it down to three. Okay. We've got the top four. Oh, okay. the top four. How about this? We've got three plus one extra <laughs> plus a bonus. We got the bonus reason. <laughs> so, so the areas that that kind of as I thought about this, Danny, are you know being consultative. Uh, the other area is being collaborative. Mm-hmm. In what we do, uh, being caring and serving uh, to our customers, and then really being focused on you know delivering customer value, right, or delivering value to our customers. Mm-hmm. So I think those are the four areas that I think about when I think about our teams, and we can we can. Yeah, let's dive into the first one: uh, being consultative. Let's, just, let's jump into that one. Yeah. So as I thought about that one, I actually kind of went online and just. You know, try to look up uh, a definition of you know, a consultant or somebody that's consultative. And I'll, I'll kind of read a definition. And it says, uh, a consultant is an experienced individual that is trained to analyze and advise a client in order to help the client make the best choices possible. And I thought that was actually a pretty good, pretty good definition. Mm-hmm. And yeah, you know, I think that applies at Three Will. And, and yeah, I will say that every single one of our associates uh, is a consultant, right? We're not just engineers. Mm-hmm. We're not just developers. I mean, there's a lot of people out there that can write code, right? And they're very efficient and effective about, you know, writing code. But I think yeah, every single one of our consultants are consultative, you know, and what that means is that, you know, we do go out there and analyze a customer's business problem. I think we all work hard to educate that customer on, you know, the alternate solutions to solve that problem and to really educate them on our process mm-hmm. and how we go after that problem and how we want to attack that problem. Uh, they, they validate what they hear the customer saying, you know, as far as what their business problem is, what their requirements are. And I, I think we 
we do advise customers. We believe our job is to provide our customers with enough information, enough data, right, so that they can make the best investment decision possible, you know, to solve their problem. So, and every single one of our consultants can do that, even from an associate level person to, you know, our principal consultants. And obviously there's levels you know, of, of depth that those people have, but, but I'm confident they, they all can do that. Uh, and I think, you know, the other thing I think about is all our consultants have very good listening skills. Mm-hmm. You know, we, we really listen and we take the time to capture what we hear our customers saying. And, you know, we do a great job of, you know, capturing those requirements. And then we actually, you know, we play those requirements back in, in the form of agile user stories. And, you know, our customers really get that. I think they appreciate the fact that these guys heard me. Yeah, it's a reflective they, listening. It's reflective listening. Yeah. And everybody can do it. Every single associate at Three Will can do that and does that. Um, did you train them to do How do you, Did we just pick this up as a culture or how did this happen? You know, some people um, you know, inherently have that ability. Uh-huh. In, in others, we... We put them in situations where they work with a team to yep. do that, right? Okay. So they, they observe, and then we let them participate in the process. They might not be active the mm-hmm. first couple times. Mm-hmm. They're, they're seeing the senior level people do it. But, you know, as soon as we can, we you know, invite them to participate in that process. And, and very soon, you know, a lot of the younger associates are taking requirements and mm-hmm. You know, driving user stories from that. So they're somewhat coached by the by folks who've been around maybe before and have seen it be successful. So they're they're watching them and absolutely, yeah. And and I'll also say that you know, and it kind of goes to being consultative. Um, you know, we are willing to put every single one of our associates in front of a customer, uh, and not just a technical, mm-hmm. you know, uh, sponsor, but the business people, right? Because typically we're working with business people. You know, typically we're working with the business, a part of a business to solve a problem, create a solution. And uh, you know, we're not afraid to put even the younger uh, associates in front of a customer, uh, asking questions, you know, validating requirements, validating acceptance criteria. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we really, truly believe in giving them that experience. And uh, does it make some of them nervous? Absolutely. But, uh, but, they, but they learn, right, by putting them in, that, in those scenarios you know, they get to kind of gain those skills early on. And, you know, that's a skill. Those, you know, consultative skills, you continue to develop as time goes on. It's not like you can go take a class and you've got it. It, it, it takes repetition, right? It takes applied practice. So uh, I think we invest in that and we think it's important. We believe it's important. So, you know, we, you know, believe in consultants, you know, not just engineers, not just you know, developers. And I like how this starts out in the sales process really is, is it gets, I know you and I have talked about estimating and how early mm-hmm. on, I think that this is, that's where the tone is set. I think with, with all this as well as, is, is that, 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 um, active listening, the, the making sure that we have a good understanding and, and some initial choices, which can be some of the most important choices, even before the project starts that we're giving the right guidance during that time. Absolutely, because we all know there's more than one way to solve a problem. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and we we like to give customers options and alternatives. And again, it kind of goes back to the education, mm-hmm. right? We believe you know a a good customer is an educated customer, a customer that understands you know the alternative ways to solve the problem. They understand the costs associated with that, mm-hmm. the schedule to do it, and and the benefits of each each solution we might offer. So. We're big believers of investing that time up front in a sales cycle because that kind of sets the foundation. Number two is being collaborative. Now, with that one, you're really, it's it's about how we're working with the customer. Yeah, it's how we're working with the customer. And it's really, too, I was thinking, too, of how our teams work together. So, um, you know, we follow an agile scrum process. And, you know, for those of you that, no Agile Scrum. Agile Scrum is where you're delivering, you know, features and functionality, you know, every two weeks. And, you know, it's all about the team coming together and and being successful in what they're going to commit to in a sprint, what they're going to deliver. And, you know, what really stands out is, you know, if you have a, a four-person team, you know, going after features in a sprint, 
you know, and if one person gets all their tasking done and completes their backlog, but the other three don't because they've had some impediment um, or they got stuck on a, a problem they couldn't solve, you know, at the end of the day, we're not successful, mm-hmm. right? And, and our our team gets that, right? So, you know, if a team member is making great progress and they see another team member has an impediment or they need help, they're going to stop what they're doing and, and help the other team member. Mm-hmm. So, um, you know, they, they very much are focused on you know, being successful as a team and, and helping one another out. You know, they understand that it, it, it's not success if just one member of the team is successful. The whole mm-hmm. team's got to be successful. So you know, either the whole team celebrates you know, in a sprint review uh-huh. or we don't celebrate, you know, because we didn't accomplish everything we had, had identified. Um, you know, and I think, you know, from a, from a culture perspective and, yeah, I know you know this, Danny. I mean, we, we've got a very collaborative culture. Um, you know, we have our own, you know, kind of social set of tools that we use to ask questions to help one another solve problems. And everybody's very heavily invested in stopping, taking the time to answer questions, st- taking the time, um, you know, to help uh, another team member out. You know, and you know, one of the things that I thought about is, Every single three will associate truly is a, a mentor and a coach mm-hmm. because we all have, you know, areas of expertise that we're deeper in than our peers, right? And, you know, there are times where you have to, you know, reach out to peers that have the, the deeper knowledge in an area of a solution and you've got to go get their help. And, and, and those people will stop and help, right? And we're all busy. We're all driving hard, you know, delivering these two week sprints and, you know, I've never seen anybody not stop, hesitate to help out another person on their team or even other projects. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it's that, that ability for everybody to be a coach and a mentor to others. And everybody takes that personally and, and makes that investment. And I, I think this comes a lot from what I see with Tommy. And how he jumps in as well. <laughs> like, like it's, it's, uh, I see it with you and I see it with Tommy where you're willing to whatever comes up. Um, you're, you know, if it's, if it's something that someone needs help with, every, all hands are on deck. Absolutely. It's not, it's, you're never left out. Uh, you, and it, it's, I think a, a, a lot of it comes from, I see on a day to day basis from all the way from the top, from Tommy and from you. And did you see how, how, you know, there's nothing beneath you to help out and to do what you can to help other folks out. So, yeah. And I think we're just big believers in sharing our knowledge and sharing yeah. what we learn. I mean, as you know, we do, we do lunch and learns where we share. We do product showcases once a quarter where we, you know, showcase mm-hmm. the things we've done for our customers, but it's all part of sharing what we've learned yeah. and, um, and, and learning from our experiences. So I, I share my marketing stuff. Nobody cares about it, but I try sharing it. Guys, I promise this is all interesting stuff. It really is. So the next one, being, caring, and serving. Let's jump into that one. Yeah, you know, and yeah, it, it, it's, to me, it's a remarkable thing that, you know, the, the people here at Three World truly care about their customers and truly care about serving those customers. And they really take that, that, that servant, uh, you know, kind of attitude you know, into their engagements. They, they really, really work hard to serve that customer. And they're, they're very driven. <coughs> you know, a lot of times, uh, you know, I'll, I'll call the, you know, the people here at Three Will, you know, pleasers. So all our consultants, they want to please their customers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. And, and, and sometimes it can be problematic because it's easy. You know, for us to go in and, and maybe over engineer a solution mm-hmm. or to do more than what we committed to do. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I think we've gotten very good at, you know, knowing, you know, we have this desire to really please the customer, to make them happy. Um, you know, and you know, everybody's got to learn that, you know, you, you still got to stay within the boundaries set for the project, right? The scope boundaries, the budget boundaries, mm-hmm. and the schedule boundaries. Um, you know, and, you know, these guys, you know, they, 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 they thrive on, you know, going into a sprint review mm-hmm. and pleasing that customer, mm-hmm. right? So in that sprint review, we're demoing what we've done 
And, and each person does and demos what they've built and what they've developed in this sprint. And, you know, you, you can see it in their eyes. You can see the excitement when they, when it's their turn to kind of show what they've developed. Mm -hmm. And they love getting the feedback from the customer, you know, good or bad. You know, to them, it doesn't matter. It's, it's a chance to really, you know, please the customer, mm -hmm. share what they've accomplished and, and kind of celebrate that success. And it's just, you know, they have big hearts and, uh, yeah, it really shines through in, in the way they you know, truly go after really pleasing the customer because they care. Yeah, and this this reminds me of I know on the on our website in the culture section, yeah, you know, the the value that even the one your picture is up for is responsibility. I, I also get a sense of responsibility to the group here as well. You know, when they're going into that sprint review, they feel responsible. They feel like they need to do their part in order to you know for the team to to really do well. It's, it's they they know they need to do that. Yeah, absolutely. It, it kind of goes back to that, you know, being collaborative and the team being successful. Yeah. And everybody is very driven, you know, to demonstrate that success, you know, you know, to our customers and, and to get the feedback and to see the customers, you know, light up when they see a new feature, you know, being deployed. So bonus, bonus one. <laughs> Let's hit the button. <laughs> Customer value and success. Let's talk about that one. <coughs> Don't you die on me, Bruce. <laughs> Don't you die on me. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, so you know, probably the thing I want to focus on there is is value. And, yeah, again, because the reason I say value is, you know, our, our consultants truly focus on making sure they are delivering value to our customers. And I, I did another kind of Google search, right, and to look up the definition of, of value and and. Here's what I actually felt pretty good about. I think it holds true to what we do. And it says, uh, so value, it's a mutually shared answer to a recognized problem. And the answer provides measurable improvement. Okay. Right? So, you know, it's, a, it's an answer or a solution to a recognized problem. In our case, a business problem. And it provides measurable improvement. So it's... You know, there's some measurable reason why a customer is asking us to come in and develop a solution. You know, it could be, you know, reducing costs, increasing revenue. It could be for operational efficiency and things like that. So, you know, I think that that definition is, definition is important because, you know, our consultants think about that all the time. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I've been in meetings where they will challenge one another. Um, and as they're planning out a sprint, they challenge how we're implementing a story and they, they challenge it in a way of, you know, are we delivering the most value for the customer, you know, for the hours that we are going to invest in this, implementing this piece of the solution. And, you know, I think they're very, very good because it's very easy to over-engineer a solution and, you know, sometimes the over-engineered solution isn't what the customer needs. It, it may exceed their requirements, but it it might be more than what they need. And you know, if you can give them, I don't want to say give them less, but if you meet the requirement, right, with a solution that solves the problem, and it allows you to save those other hours to add more value in other areas. So I, I think... I see it time and time again where our consultants challenge one another and they challenge, you know, what we're doing as we plan a sprint or plan how we're going to implement to really question, you know, are we at the right level of value yeah. in, in delivering what we're doing? So Because it's very often good enough is the right. It, it is. And, and that way, if it's good enough or I can deliver value for even fewer hours than we originally estimated. Yeah. Yeah, now the customer's got a bucket of hours that they can use and, and apply to something else, right? Whether it's our project or they, they, they keep those hours and dollars and, and do something else. You know, I think all our consultants really, truly look at you know, is what I'm doing delivering the right level of value for the customer to solve, you know, the problem we're trying to solve. So to get us wrapped up here, uh, how do we know our people are great? What tells you that? You know, um, you know, I, I thought about that, you know, as you and I were talking about this topic. Yeah. And, and to me, it's fairly simple, you know, in, in what I manage, what I own for 3 -Wheel. And, 
you know, it's at the end of the day, it's do our customers ask us for more, mm-hmm. right? So when we get done with a project, if they ask us for more, they vote with the dinero. Yeah, you know, they say, I want you to, hey, can you guys, can we do this? Yep. Can we add these other features? Uh, or I got this other project mm-hmm. you know, that I want you guys to come work on. I like the way you guys engaged with us. I like the way you guys solved my problem. I like the way you guys spent my money effectively. So to me, at the end of the day, it's are they asking for more? If the answer is yes, then you know, we know that we did a great job. And, and the we is our people. Mm-hmm. You know? Um, and you know, I think time and time again, um, you know, our customers you know, trust and respect our people, right? Because it's them that they see each and every day. It's them. You know, it's the team that's delivering the features every two weeks. So, yeah. You know. And I know from a marketing standpoint, I mean, doing the uh, uh, Microsoft has a customer satisfaction survey. And we for four the four times we've done it, I think they're going to stop doing it this year. So they're not going to be doing it anymore. But the four times that we did it, we were in the top 5% of Microsoft partners, which was I think it's pretty, it's pretty darn good. It's good, good to see that. It's good to hear that our customers think that much of us. I also think the thing that I look for are testimonials is what are people saying about yeah, us? Absolutely. You know, I've got a page off of our, our, our site, which is the Y3 will, which has some from the words of our clients. What do they say about us? I think that's the most telltale thing for me is, is what are, what would they say about us? Um, and that's very important to hear from them and to hear. You know that we are different. Where you know, I want to hear that our people are great from our clients. Absolutely, not just Absolutely. internally, not just internally. Well, um, thank you for taking the time to do this. Absolutely, I mean, we have got a great team, and it has a lot to do with your leadership. And uh, we're just we're we're so ecstatic to have you as the VP of delivery. And uh, we've got a bunch of really great people, and we do. Got, we've got a really great leader that's leading up those people as well. And I appreciate everything that you do on a day-to-day basis to to have a great team. I appreciate that. I appreciate the team. They make my job easy. <laughs> for sure, that's great. Thanks everybody for taking the time to listen. Um, please come by and visit us on the website uh, threewill.com. Thanks so much, and have a great day. Bye bye. <laughs>